Dear friends, good morning. Welcome to Coffee with God. And I am Father Jose. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. May the Holy Spirit illumine our hearts and minds and burn us with the fire of God's love. from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 9, verses 1 to 12. Passage taken from the message version of the Bible. From there he went to the area of Judea across the Jordan. A crowd of people, as was so often the case, went along, and he, as he so often did, taught them. Pharisees came up intending to give him a hard time, they asked. Is it legal for a man to divorce his wife? Jesus said, What did Moses command? They answered, Moses gave permission to fill out a certificate of dismissal and divorce her. Jesus said, Moses wrote this command only as a concession to your hard-hearted ways. In the original creation, God made male and female to be together. Because of this, a man leaves father and mother, and in marriage he becomes one flesh with a woman, no longer two individuals, but forming a new unity. Because God created this organic union of the two sexes, no one should desecrate his art by cutting them apart. When they were back home, the disciples brought it up again. Jesus gave it to them straight. who divorces his wife so he can get married someone else commits adultery against her and a woman who divorces her husband so she can marry someone else commits adultery the gospel of the law reflections on the gospel according to st mark chapter 10 verses 1 to 12 While writing the gospel, evangelist Mark selected and put together various incidents from Jesus' life to address the issues that he considered particularly significant for life within the Christian community. In today's gospel, the Pharisees raised the issue of divorce. Mark's community in Rome may have been experiencing this problem. Jesus tells the Jews about marriage between a man and a woman. What God has joined together, no human being must separate. But this translation fails to explain the nuance intended by Jesus. The original word for joined would literally mean yoked together. The yoke is a device that allows two animals bring their separate energies together. and apply them to a task at hand without one taking advantage of the other in marriage union two persons of different gender gifts and abilities are yoked together to complement each other each partner equally partaking in the loving and creative work of god similarly the word separate often referred to divorce since divorce was the initial question raised to jesus And Jesus used the opportunity to speak about equal dignity of man and woman. But the word separate originally meant to discriminate. Jesus was effectively saying that two partners yoked together in marriage must not be regarded by the couples themselves, their families, nor by the society as having unequal rights and the woman must not be discriminated. The questions on divorce were asked from the presumption that men were superior to women and women were considered second class citizens. Jesus warns against even the possibility of divorce which could undermine and ignore and suppress the rights of women. Mark's narrative is dealing principally with the attitudes and relationships within the community of disciples. Mark wants to reiterate an important principle that in the scheme of Jesus there are no second class citizens. 
all are of equal dignity and are to be treated with equal respect in the jewish culture when a man marries a woman she leaves her family and becomes a member of her husband's family but the man never leaves his family and jesus questions this culture and says that god had made humans equal both male and female they derive their origin and their dignity from god without differentiations both man and woman in marriage need to leave their fathers and mothers and accept the priority of each other jesus not only rejects the notion of separation and discrimination in marriage but even warns them of the sin of adultery if a divorced man marries again he commits adultery against her his former wife adultery is an offense against the partner